Are we live right now? I think so. You didn't give me any warning. <laughs> Hello. Your mic isn't even on. Hello and welcome to the Dardar and Andy show. I'm Dar. And I'm Andy. This is my better half, Andy. Uh, I don't know if I'm the better half. You are the definitely <laughs> the better half. Um, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. This is like our maybe sixth or seventh episode. Yes. And uh, we changed from the last episode. We brought the show inside, inside indoors, yeah. yes. because we had some technical challenges last time. Still having them, but it's okay. Yes. Well, we thought uh, getting inside would help us somewhat. Yep. And um, I think it did for the setup. Yes. And so we'll see how it goes. It's a lot cooler, that's for sure. Yeah. It's not so hot <laughs> in and out and in and out. Yeah. And so welcome to our humble abode. Yes, indeed. So you're inside our, our apartment on this uh what is it? It's a, um, gosh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a rainy, rainy Tuesday, rainy, evening. rainy, rainy, rainy. Let's see. What does it look like outside? How's it look? Oh, there I am. <laughs> it is raining. It's outside. raining out there. So, uh, so it's a good thing we decided to move indoors because yeah, anyway. we would have had to do it anyway. We would have had to do it anyway under pressure. Yes. So because it's a 50, 50 chance of rain yep. like, pretty much constantly. And so, so, um, what are the challenges? So we, uh, oh no. So we've been slow rolling yes. the open of Playa del Carmen. So we've been working on that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So things, so we have a traffic light system. Oh yeah. We have a traffic the, light system. The green light, yellow light, orange light, red light. Yes. It's and a, each state is assigned. It's a four light traffic light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. And, uh, <laughs> So it was a four light traffic light because it, they added orange. Yes. You know, because. Why not? For, for, um, to put you Florida on notice. State, or, 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 <laughs> You're on notice. <laughs> You're on notice, right? So, and so they added, they added orange. So it goes from red to orange. We're to yellow. in orange right now. We're in orange. And then yellow, they, yellow, they open the beaches. Yes. Right? And then green, everything's open. Yes. I bet you dollars to donuts will never see that green light ever, ever turn on. It'll never It'll, again happen. Never, never going to turn on. So there's a there's a thing happening right now, and I just read an article about it today, and it's it's going to be a problem. It's yeah. If it's not already starting, I mean, I think that that's brewing. But what's happening is they're inviting tourists back to Cancun and and uh, Riviera Maya, and they're opening these hotels and resorts mm -hmm. to tourists that are coming in from yeah, out of the country. But what for? They can't go to the beach. Well, they can go to the beach. So the hotels are allowing uh, the guests to go out to the beach and the, the ad administ administrator of tourism yes. for all of Mexico is like, yeah, we're totally doing we're that. We're letting the tourists onto the beach. But locals cannot go. So, okay. So what about the whole part about... The beaches belonging to the people of Mexico. Exactly. So all all beaches in Mexico are supposed to be um, public beaches because they are the property of the Mexican citizens. Right. It's written into the Constitution here, yeah. and there are no private beaches in all of Mexico. No matter what you would have been told or or sold the bill of goods from a resort <laughs> or whatever. So anyway, at any rate, I guess the resorts have played paid the proper amount of pesos yes. to have their guests go out to, to the get that little bit of beach uh, made private temporarily. Yeah. 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 And in the meantime, all of the tourists are being shooed away. They're not, a, they're not being allowed onto the island where the, where, where Cancun is. Oh, well, the hotel zone. Yeah. The hotel zone. They're being yeah. stopped and they're at being That's at, not really an island. Isn't that it's like a, a peninsula? Would it be a K? A what? A K. A K. A, or a, a key or a K. Oh, I see what you're, I don't know. It's the outside of a it's, lagoon. It's a strip. It's, it's a, a, yeah. It's an atoll, atoll. So it's a it's big land <laughs> strip of land. We don't need geographers. <laughs> Why don't we know a metal, metallurgist? All I know is that when we stayed in Cancun, our apartment overlooked the lagoon. Right. That was, that was between us and the hotel yes. zone and then the Caribbean. So being in Cancun, we had zero ocean view right right i mean you, whatever you could see past the hotel zone so if you look at it on a map Cancun sits behind the lagoon that sits behind the hotel zone which the hotel zone is what sits on the caribbean okay so what you're saying is that locals are not even allowed they're not onto the strip unless they you know go work for unless the gringos they're unless they're working you know unless, yeah. that sucks it blows. Dude. 
it's it's the fucking it's not worst. right no it's and it's the same shit you know yeah. it's like you know screw the little guy yeah you know dollar 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 you know so well because when those people get sick if they get yeah. sick and leave it's like whose numbers are they yeah. on <laughs> you know what i mean it's like it's not on mexico's count they're no. not going to add those to their count <laughs> I mean, I don't know. No, they're they, not going to add it to their account. It's just, you know, it, to, to them it's just, anyway. But, you know, and I feel yeah. a little guilty because we are feeding the fire because we, we did book a room over in Cancun in the hotel zone and we are going to go well, for we're only July human 4th. People. <laughs> we're going to go for July 4th. Yeah. And shame on us. Why? Well, I don't know. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. But if that's how we can go and enjoy the beach, then that sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, they probably won't let us onto our beach. <laughs> Why? Because I mean, because we're I mean, we're local here. We're not tourists, so maybe they won't even let I us onto. I have on a Texas it. driver's license. I don't oh, know okay. about you. <laughs> I do. I, but I have the correct I, address on mine. I'm a tourist. <laughs> I'm definitely a tourist, and I'm definitely will be a tourist when I go to Cancun. Yes. But that's another question. What about tourists from within the country? So you flew in from, you know, I don't know. Mexico City, yes. and you don't happen to have a room in the hotel zone, but you want to go over to the hotel zone and go to the beach, you can't go. Those kinds of outliers are not provided for in this situation. <laughs> they, are, they are outside, the, uh, they are outside the, uh, the scope of interest. Well, when they kept saying, we're going to allow tourism, right. but they kept the beaches closed, I was like, well, how are they going to do that? They can't have tourists coming to Mexico and tell them they can't go to the beach watch them oh yeah no they're <laughs> telling them they can go to the beach they're t- just telling them everybody else can't go right so that's happening right now so mm. there's that whole dichotomy morass it's terrible yeah well i mean it's redonkulous as you said yes redonkulous i'm just thinking about well there was always a, the, the lack of clarity about what any of these uh, symbols mean right it's always Oh, what's the red light? Yeah, what's the, the red light? light. And, yeah. and orange light. Yeah, and what's the agenda behind and the motivations behind the people that are declaring what the colors yeah, are? Yeah, no. I mean, I don't, who knows? I think it's it's happening. It's all over the world. I mean, right. it's not just here. Yeah. There's ambiguity and things are changing on a day by day basis, and people don't really know what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like that. Um, yeah. All over the world, mm-hmm. literally. Yeah, like, same, same for everybody. It's the same for everybody. We're not special, Dar. No, <laughs> we're not. We're just trapped in our own hell. <laughs> yeah, hell, I say, hell. It's it's the worst. <laughs> well, it's not. It's fit. So June first was the day that, like, the very first things started opening, mm-hmm. and like I said in uh, one of our other shows, I was like, the first thing I'm doing is getting my teeth cleaned. Yes. The day that dentist office opened, I had an appointment. Yeah. And I, that was the first thing I was able to do was get And you like them. Oh, I love the dentist. Yeah. Yeah, I love the dentist office. And they were they had the full gear on, the masks and the this and the shoes and the gloves. And the they looked like they were working in a laboratory. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, like a science lab, not like yeah. a dentist office. And uh, they had me do the whole nine yards, cover my feet special rugs for cleaning your feet your right. shoes and everything but they were really good i like the dentist good. That's, that's the first time i've been to a dentist in mexico so it was a really good Positive experience, experience. <laughs> yeah. they know i was way. nervous <laughs> they, they know their way around all 28 of them or whatever, yeah. right? yes. <laughs> well i'm yeah. too short you're too short yeah. <laughs> yeah did they comment on your bitch and gold gold tooth no <laughs> they did it they did say wow that is one bitch and gold tooth <laughs> no it's like that's my gangster style right? just like pulling it, i always it. wanted a gangster tooth so i have one in the back yeah <laughs> so no i was they trying to make I was, I was trying to make a joke about um like hey dardar you know, when the pandemic is over, will I be able to go to the dentist? <laughs> and you say, yeah, of course you can go to the dentist. It's like, well, I never, I never went before. <laughs> no, that's you. That's me. <laughs> and you have most excellent teeth. I so. do. I got good chompers. I went to the dentist enough for all of us and all of our viewers when I was a kid. I was in the dentist every week. Why? You and had bad baby teeth? I had really bad, bad um, orthodontic problems. So I had, like... I had stuff. Did pulled. you have braces? I had braces. Yeah, I had braces for years. I mean, years. I I didn't even know yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen a picture of you with braces on. Yeah, none were taken. 
I destroyed all <laughs> of those, them. I was going to say, and those which were, were probably destroyed. <laughs> they were destroyed. They were deep fixed. So. Well, what were your teeth like? Were they like really messed up? Yeah, they were jacked up. <laughs> so what happened was that uh, I never told you about this. No. My dad, knows, my dad know knows it better. But I just like, assumed that you always had really nice teeth. I drank so much milk, uh, bottle milk or whatever when I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, um, that they rotted my baby teeth. Oh, yeah. Or just formula. I think I was already drinking just regular milk or formula. Or I don't well, know. Well, that's how it, you got to be so tall. Yes, and they rotted my baby teeth, and that made oh. something collapse so that my teeth my adult teeth didn't grow in properly because the, the gaps weren't there anymore oh holy hell yeah so okay yeah so my teeth came in really crooked oh that sucks but I'm I, had a, I had a really good uh orthodontist i mean he was a miracle worker oh wow in guatemala of all places very cool yeah so no your teeth are really great right, people like them my teeth look like, like, I look like I had four teeth all together, <laughs> just so far across well, the front. <laughs> but I had braces too, but I didn't have those kinds of problems. <laughs> I'm wondering if our live stream froze. I think it may have frozen. It was waiting for live stream. I don't there know. we are. Well, that one's, that, that's, that's here. It says waiting for live stream. Oh, connecting. Hey, there you are again. Did your, did the, um, what internet drop out? Yeah, or internet drop out. The Wi-Fi. But I have all of the backups going, so that's okay. It's okay. It'll be great when it goes to uh, what you call it. It'll be wonderful on YouTube, folks. So <laughs> I encourage you to watch it there. Well, um, okay. So I got the dentist thing knocked out today. I made it to the hairdresser, which I'm very excited about. Yes. And I don't have the Corona hair anymore. You don't have the Corona, Lisa. The Corona Lisa. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Even that hairdresser was like laughing at the amount of regrowth I had on my hair. <laughs> I was I was thinking, am I the first person you've seen like this? Because you're gonna see a lot more. Yes. <laughs> I am I am but one. But one of many. I mean I guess. I don't know if people have been having hairdressers come to their homes, but Yeah. That's what the Mexican president said. He's like, Have them come to your house and cut your hair. Like, I don't have that kind of special relationship <laughs> with my dentist, with a hairdresser. Oh, a hairdresser! I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then that sounds even worse because now you have a hairdresser like going around to everybody's apartment, spreading, you know, God only knows what. Even it's like though the, it's like the Johnny Appleseed of gross. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Everybody I talk to here, everybody's one, every, everybody here, a lot of people here, the locals think that the whole coronavirus is a conspiracy theory. Of course they do. Because it, nobody knows anybody that has it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, so that's. It's the same way in the United States. It's the same States. way in the United States. It's like, you know, there's always going to be a certain people, if it's not happening directly to their face, they don't think it exists. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, they, cause, cause not, they, can't think, they can't think beyond themselves. The, they, they, can't, they can't think beyond their own cranium. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I we am got, aware. So we got things. We, we have, we're starting to be able to do things. We went out with friends last Friday night. Oh, my God. What a treat was that? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I... It's, you just feel like... I'm like, I've never had so much fun in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's been so long, you know, since you can just have a good time and relax and laugh and cut loose. And it was a, it was fun. Yeah. We went to, um, if, if you have ever visited us or will ever visit us, Which you we hope will you do. go to Zinzi. Yes. <laughs> so Zinzi was like our first, it was like our first night out. Foray. Yeah. Yeah. Then, um. We went to, yeah, we went to Zenzi. Did, what's that? Yeah, but then we went to Off Divine on Friday. We met friends. Yes. Met friend. And then Piola. <laughs> and Piola. And, and there we met friends. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, I don't think that this is going. It's, people are going to have to catch up with it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. That's so. fine by me. I don't know. Fine by me. Oh, yeah. We are dropped down to just one of my signals. <laughs> is it because the internet went out? Yeah, the internet's like going up and down and up and down. And okay. It's just like not, not great. Okay. Let me try one thing and I'll be right back okay since we're not playing anyway since we're not playing anyway
Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the slow reopening because in all the weirdness of how they've decided to read Carmen, another thing that they decided to do was open up uh, water, water activities. So the fishermen have been on the beach for quite some time, but um, no other boats. And you couldn't fish for commercial reasons. You could fish for your family. So fish for self um sustainability right you could give it away you could feed your family that kind of thing so they reopened the waterways for um diving which we're also going to benefit from that because we've already book, booked our first um dive day next sunday and i'm so excited about i know that. because we're ha we're gonna have um new equipment to try out Hopefully. and well we, yes, even, even with the regulators yeah it's new equipment right mm -hmm. so i'm excited about that and they've let we've seen jet skis out there and different things happening in the water right which is weird because the beaches are closed yeah but apparently you can cross the beach to get into the water, <laughs> into your boat to do what you need to do. Right. So I have this group that I started, the Open Water Swim Group. Yes. And we were supposed to go on a, on Saturday. One weekend, then the next weekend. And then the next week weekend, the past two weekends, it's yep. been closed. And <laughs> yeah. did you hear that? What? what? Okay, I'll tell you later. <laughs> and then, so this Saturday, we're... Uh, we're scheduled to go. We're just going to keep rescheduling it until we get our first Saturday. Yeah. Well, this Saturday, now I'm really confused about what the status is because it's like, okay, there's water activities allowed. Yes. A 30% capacity. <laughs> Which I don't even know. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what that means. And the beach is at 30% capacity. Do they have capacity numbers for the beach? I don't, I don't think so. I, it, doesn't say, <laughs> it doesn't have an occupancy notice on the on the beach that no, I know of. No, they didn't need a, what do you call it? A, you know, but an audit before they opened, what yeah. an inspection, <laughs> inspection with an occupancy notice, but no, it's, uh, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's super weird. We're, so I'm going to, I guess, just put it to the group and see what everybody wants to do. Because the bottom line is if you go out there and you swim and you come back and if the police happen to be there, they're just going to ask you to get off the beach, mm -hmm. right? I mean, what? I don't understand. What else you can do? Yeah, because who knows how long they're going to keep the beaches closed. Long as, they, as long as they possibly can. For sure. I mean, that's, that's, that's their answer for everything is that they're just going to try to keep everything shut down for as long as possible. You know, in the name of public safety, and it's just an opportunity for people to get more bribes. I am so sorry about this. It's, uh, oh, no, it's okay. You don't worry about it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah, I know. It's just that we're super, super frozen. I don't know. And did my, anyway. So. But we're still recording. Yes, we are. So it'll go on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And, and people can watch it at their convenience, which is just good. And we have to stay in the two shot because this guy froze too. So. Okay. That's not a problem either. Yeah. So the next thing we were going to talk a little bit about was um, that we're prepping we're for two different things, mm -hmm. you and I are. I'm preparing for one activity, preparing for another activity. I'm scuba diving. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. And I am too. I'm, yes. I'm, no, we're ready for that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a done deal. That's we already I'm, have the reservation. And they could. <laughs> no, but um, well, work-wise, you're preparing for that, um, your first remote audit. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So on the remote working front, like you can talk a little bit about what you're doing. Prepare for your company audit. Well, the first thing is that I'm not going to be using the internet in here. <laughs> because... <laughs> Because, That'll be a travesty. Yeah. Because, yeah, I am. <laughs> everything is right now frozen. Everything right now is frozen. And anyway, so so first thing is that we are, we got, you you, are, you got me some office space mm -hmm. with good internet. Yes. Uh, they have an ethernet uh, line mm -hmm. and not just Wi-Fi. Right. Because here we rely solely on Wi-Fi. Yeah. And when Wi-Fi goes down, it's, we're lost. We're lost, yeah. And when that tropical storm came and stayed here for five days, yeah, it was really touch and go yeah. for five days. So anyway, so yeah, so we have a better opportunity. We have, you know, going and sitting in an office is going to be a lot better. Um, so that's one. The other one is 
um, I discussed it with work, and since I'm going to need to communicate with people at work and with the auditors both remotely, um, I got a second computer. So I'm working on a second computer. So, okay. Um, and so that's two things. And the other, always, I'm going to have a rehearsal on practice simulation on Friday. So on Friday, I'm going to have a simulation. And I'm going to do it from here because it'll be the worst possible internet conditions to see, you know, if we can salvage out of a bad situation. Well, I can um, get the the nest that co-working space for you for friday for that friday if you I... might as well go and do tests for the setup and stuff that would be smart and yeah. that way you don't show up there the day of the audit there's a problem yeah maybe i'll do that that's not a bad idea yeah oh, could you do that yeah one more you have i'm time. like i need to put it that on my calendar <laughs> i won't remember you put it on my calendar real quick you um contact them tomorrow so set that up so you want to talk a little bit about co-working because a lot of people may not know about co-working spaces. And although it's not really new on the scene, mm -hmm. I think it's, you know, something that, well, probably we work brought the most, <laughs> shine the most light on yes. it, not a positive not light. Not in the most positive light. You might you. talk a little bit about co-working and let people know what that is and how you use it. Well, so, yeah, so co-working is just, is a, shared office space that you go and has internet access typically has coffee and you go and sit with other people and everybody works on their own thing and and they um online you know and 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 these people these places will be of kind of varying quality and they'll s sort of orient themselves to one type of worker versus another so mm -hmm. like there'll be a lot of people who are um who run kind of entrepreneurial businesses, mm -hmm. for example, where they have like little catalogs that they've put out. Mm -hmm. um, and they run those out of co-working spaces, typically. And they just work on their computer. Or you have uh, people like myself who work remotely for um, companies, uh, you know, wherever, all over the world, and they'll be on the phone, mm -hmm. what I, which is what I do. Um, I'm on the phone. I'm just uh, on calls a lot. On calls a lot, and then another ones that you'll have uh, you'll have are, um, you know, YouTube creating type, you know, travelers who have a YouTube presence of some kind. And they'll go and shoot all their stuff over the course, you know, course of the day, and then they'll come back and they'll put it all together in the co-working space and then upload it from there because the internet's better. Mm -hmm. um, then you'll have just kind of your general. You seem to have a lot of people who are just sort of. Oh, another one is a lot of virtual assistants. Okay. So people who are, um, kind of like, I guess, they're kind of like what, no, no, Stacy does like paralegal executive work. Executive assistants. Yeah, executive yeah. assistants, but they're 100% online. Right. Um, and they, uh, a lot of them will be there, and they're on the phone all the time, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. And we've, hi I've hired uh, many people, uh, virtual assistants in yeah. that regard, for a lot of different projects, web design and um marketing material design and things like that and i love that the virtual assistant it's yeah. just it's uh, i used upwork yeah for uh for many many different types of projects but the co-working spaces the cool thing about those is that they'll give you options of what kind of space you want to work in it's like do you want a bullpen area where mm. you're just going to sit and work on your computer and um you know you don't need private office space so that's usually your like your least expensive right. space and you can pay by the day and then you can get private offices that mm -hmm. you can rent for the month or you can get conference rooms on an as needed basis that kind of yeah. so they they normally offer a lot of variety regarding the kind of space that yeah. they have that you can use and i find that to be cool yeah i like and then and then some of them will have office space so you'll have people who will rent the equivalent of a conference room or maybe just a one person office where they're private. Mm. But like the conference room, remember we went, we used to go to that one over there, um, off of Lerma or close to Lerma. Is that one place? And yeah, it was like on a fifth floor. The swim, the... Yeah, it was, it was a real hassle to get in and out. And yeah, it was called the pool. Was no, the, the pool? pool was actually pretty cool. Oh, okay. This was this other place. Okay. Well, the point being, no matter what city you go to, there's going to be co-working spaces mm -hmm. around. 
And so they, you, normally you can get a one free pass, so you can go for a day and try it out, and then you can rent by the, you know, a lot of them have hourly or daily, monthly. Like with our current um, bunker space, we got you like 10 day passes, so you can go 10 days, whatever 10 right. days you it's want. Right, it's a block of days. Yeah, so that's, that's really cool, co-working spaces. Um, or if you're traveling and working. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we found them to be very, you we know. Use them a lot. We used them a lot. Yeah. Definitely used them a lot. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to think what else about, oh, they usually have a coffee maker. Mm -hmm. which is nice and you can make yourself a nice coffee. Yeah. And they'll have a, a fridge and a microwave and uh, oh, a lot of them. A little also, kitchen area. A little kitchen area. Like, kind of like a break area in a normal office. But with space. some free stuff. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the other thing is that they'll also have social events. Oh, I haven't been in any of those. Yeah, <laughs> it's not really our it's not really our get down. You know what I mean? You know, it's a lot of people. You know, if, if young folks, young traveling yeah. folks. You know. Well, particularly probably people that are traveling alone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, like you and I, will hang out together, we'll mm -hmm. go places together. But if you're somewhere alone, it's probably a great place to go meet people. Probably. Yeah. And they'll get together, and they'll, they're usually not from, they're not from town, so they'll get together, yeah. and they'll discuss, and then they'll go on day trips together. Mm -hmm. Nice. That kind of shit. So they're, um, you know, it's a, a nice social outlet for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, you get to meet nice people in yeah. the area you're staying in. With some shared interest and all that good stuff. Yeah. It's a good time. Everybody should do it. Yeah. I urge you, if you can, just hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> no, but co-working is, is great. Even for if you're traveling for whatever reason and um, need to work, you can find a, a co-working space close by and you just carry your laptop over. Yeah, go, you should. I mean, if you spend, that's another thing. Uh, even if you, if you, well, I don't know what's going on now with the pandemic. The ones here are open, but I don't know if the ones in the States are. They probably are. I would we imagine work they are at 30% capacity. 30%, yeah. Because that's what the ones here is like at a limited capacity. Right. But they're open, but at a limited capacity. Like the salon I went to today, every other chair was like blocked out. Right. Like the mirror was covered and the chair was blocked out. So they were, the capacity was just, you know, well, that would have been like at 50%. Yeah. <laughs> but every other, every other um, stylist chair and every other pedicure chair was blocked out. Mm -hmm. So... I wonder yeah. if they. Uh, uh, well, I wonder if they, they figure the capacity based on people who are sitting and people who are waiting. Maybe they, they count the people who are waiting as capacity. So if you're not being served, that's like three extra spaces that they can say that's they're not. That's true. Yeah. The reception area. Right. Mm -hmm. so. uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah, that would be part of the capacity number, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, let's see. And then I'm prepping for a Mexico City trip. Yes, I do, actually yeah. leave. First thing in the morning, I'm yeah. going to Mexico City for a physician's appointment. Yes. And we're going to see what travel's like during all this craziness. Because have to report back. I was actually, yeah, supposed to go last week, and Vivo Aerobus uh, canceled my flight. And just they, they, they didn't cancel my flight. They changed my flight. They heard they, you were on it. They, wanted, they, they didn't want to go. They, they were like, oh, no. No. <laughs> No, they changed, they changed both my flights. I had booking flights to go first thing in the morning and come back at night. Mm -hmm. And they changed the flights to where I had like 30 minutes when I got to Mexico City. So I would be arriving, and then 30 minutes later, I would be starting again. Yeah. So I was like, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So what I was, so I, when I called them to change mm -hmm. the flights, I, I was like, well, I don't know why these flights got canceled, and I need to know so that when I book again, mm -hmm. I need to know what not to do so that I don't get, I have a lower risk for getting council flights. And the lady was like, well, it's the airport that's yeah. determining the flights because of the number of people they want in the airport. So that's what everything is going by. The number of people they want in the airport. And I was like, well, then that makes sense because I had the first flight and the last flight. So those are going to be the most popular flights. Yeah, but... So, so this is what I did. Yes. When I rebooked, I booked middle of the day flight going, and then a middle of the day flight coming back the next day mm -hmm. to ensure that I had plenty of time while I was there. Right. 
And so far, those flights are on. And how many days before your flight did they cancel last time? They, my flight was on a was on a Thursday, and they canceled on Sunday. So it was several days. Yeah, okay. So you gave probably me plenty in the, of time. So you're in the, you're probably in the clear. Yes, they. I'm thinking they would have already canceled the flight mm -hmm. if they were going to cancel tomorrow's flight. So I can Yeah, a book middle of the day, and then coming back middle of the day, mm -hmm. and then so far they're good. So. But I think one of the things I would tell travelers is try to travel at the least popular times. Yes. Um, and that might up your chances of getting on your flight. Now, this is Mexico. I have no idea what's going on in the Who States. Knows. But um, if you're traveling through Mexico, there's a tip. <laughs> yeah. And then today, so for that flight tomorrow, I received an email from the Aviation Administration mm -hmm. here in Mexico. Yes. Because it's a domestic flight. Right. Um. And I had to verify a bunch of information regarding my health status. And were there, were there any, it was, mostly there were like questions about where you've been and that sort of stuff. Or was there anything strange? No, it was, it was um, you know, my name, my flight number, and my flight seat. So they wanted to okay. know which seat I was in. Okay. And then they asked me my history, where I had traveled in the last 14 days. Had I had um, a list of symptoms, I had to click no to mm -hmm. each one of the symptoms. Um, had I been in contact with anybody that was diagnosed? Yeah. Um, just a few questions like that. It wasn't really hard. And then when I finished, I submitted the questionnaire, and then they sent me a, a QSR code. Mm -hmm. So when I get to the airport, they were going to have to scan that code, and then I guess they get my – I get okay. They know you're the – You know I'm good to go. So that's new. That's two things is, number one, the airports are um, – are securing, uh, securing, I guess, data on um, number of passengers yeah. that are entering the airport. Yeah. I guess they are also at capacity restrictions. And then they're tracking every single passenger down to the seat. Yes. So, like, if they have to, it's like, oh, these people got sick. It's like, go find out who, where they came from. And well, so that's on. what I'm wondering if they're going to use it for traceability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they will. I mean, they, they will. They're pretty good about that stuff. Sure. I mean, it's not, you know. So so I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm coming back on Thursday, and I'll have more information on flying, yes. at least in Mexico. Yeah. But so far, those are so far so good. So far so good. I'm not expecting any problems whatsoever. And in Mexico City, they have Uber. Yes. I'm just like, what? What? Da, 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 da. I love Uber. The ultimate convenience. It's the ultimate convenience. And it's so cost effective at Mexico City. It's just like so easy and inexpensive. And I'm getting to stay at a hotel in yeah. the little suite that we stayed in. We love that place. We, I know. We love that place. We love I that just place. I feel like I'm going home. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, ah. They have good internet, too. So, yeah. So um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good. They did, didn't they? Yeah, you great. loved your little desk. Oh, that was a great place. <laughs> that was that was in hog heaven. And did they clean the room every day? They clean the room every day, yeah, because it was an extended stay suite. Yeah. It was just like nice. Comfortable. Everything about it was so nice. Yeah, it was you know, it had its issues, but it was they were not of consequence. But, you know, they have internet and I mean I don't even know what the heck's going on now. I'm sure that it's well, like They have the internet. We can't you know, we're at the beach. It's like these towns are unpredictable. Yeah, I'm just trying what, to see if what there's... What are you seeing? Huh? <laughs> oh, you're reading all the little charts yeah. on, the, on our big monitor? Yeah, I'm trying to see if, I'm trying to see if this... I mean, anyway, there, it's, it's recording, so all this is going to go on YouTube. It's going to be on the tube. Wait, 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 check me out. Wait, uh, hey, how come he's not with... Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. I wonder if that's still live streaming you. It's not like, no, the, I, the live stream shut, shut itself down because the quality dropped up too much, dropped off too much, so. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's what we're getting ready to, that's yes. what we're working on. I'm yeah. working on a, on a trip to Mexico City. You're working on a remote audit. Yes, and I'll be working on this too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's why we booked you a conference room for three days. Yeah. So see, you're not going to have this problem. I hope not. You're not going to. Oh, no, you I'm have not a going. Landline. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a landline. It's like, but it's just so obnoxious because it's. We're gonna get you a landline, baby. That's, that's right. upscale. That's right. <laughs> uh, I have I have other ideas as well, so I'm still working them. 
No. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it then out. We'll, then we'll be big times. That's right. We'll be in the big times. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? Uh, we should well, sign off? Um, do you want to save the AT&T conversation for next time then? Yeah. Yes. We'll save the We'll save the north side. Yeah. And our side for the next time. Yes. Okay. Yes, we'll say that for that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, All right. thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And uh having this talk with us. And until next time, stay, stay okay. okay.